Chaya, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Cash is king, Elegot says. Cash is king. Gang. Let's do comic book haul. You guys ready for comic book haul? Should we do comic book haul? Let's do comic book haul. We're in the last 15, 20 minutes of our mapping stream, part 12. We did all some updates, so we'll leave it there. We'll, we're going to visit this again. Hopefully not uh, sooner, hopefully a little bit later. If we're visiting this soon, it means things are shifting much, much faster, right? which I hope doesn't happen. Uh, unless it's going blue, then it'll be great. But let's do a comic book haul. Let's do two comic book hauls, actually. I'm going to do the smaller one first. Smaller one first, right? Okay. This one, let me crack it open and make sure this is the smaller one. Okay. And I'll tell you the prices and stuff on this. Ooh, nice packaging. No. I actually don't like this stuff. I'd rather have paper because it's uh, easier to deal with. Oh my god, this is spillage. <laughs> Stop it. Hold on a second. It's packed so tightly. Let me go grab a plastic uh, bag so I can put them in there. Otherwise, it's all going to go down on the ground. Let's see. Uh, no. Okay, I'll be right back. Give me one second. Here's a bag to put the stuff in. Well, let me do this. Oh my goodness. Okay, come on. Do you, want, do you want to guess what it is? 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 Check this out. Check this out. Hold on. Let me put this here. Let me put this down. Is there anything else in here? Nope. Good, good. Check this out. Check this out. Do you want to guess what this is? Do you want to guess what this is? Free marshmallows. Free marshmallows. Check this out. Check this out. Ta da Sealed? Sealed? Famous comic book creators deck of cards, right? Sealed set. Now the guy had $80 price on this. He listed it on eBay for, um, hold on, let me bring it up. Let me bring it up. Let me bring it up. We bought this last time, right? So. He listed it for, let me see. He had listed it for da -da -da -da, $80, okay? And I offered him $60. And uh, there was $20 shipping. That total came out to $90, basically, right? So $60 for the thing, $20 shipping, and $10 in taxes. So it's like 16% tax, right? So this is comic book creators, sealed deck of cards. Okay, back here is a little bit, oh, that's okay, right? Here's a box be behind it, right? We bought the full set, right? We're not going to crack this open. I'm going to keep it sealed. Batman created has to be in there. Has to, Bob Kane has, should be in there. I, he better be in here, right? We could check, check this out. So this is one of the haul, right? So $90 for this, including uh, shipping and everything. Bloody taxes, bloody taxes, bloody 16% tax in Canada because I bought from a Canadian seller, right? Let's see. These are the full deck of cards that we bought, right? Uh, 110 cards plus the 10 blue ones, right? Huckleberry, who is your favorite comic book creator of all time? Oof, okay. Well, it's, it's got to be uh, Jack Kirby, right? It's got to be Jack Kirby. But I love uh, Wally Wood. Love Wally Wood. Love the old EC people. Uh, Bob Kane, is it going to be? Oh, I can't tell. This, this is going to be, and it's on the other side too, Elder God, but it's got to be in there. 
Oh, it's by, yeah, it's Eclipse Comics as well. It's Eclipse Comics as well. So we bought the full deck, 100, 110 cards in the previous previous stream, right? And I put it in this. I need a thicker one. I couldn't fit it in wall one, right? And I really wanted to get a sealed box. I did. It was, it was available, uh, and I made the guy an offer, and I grabbed it. Okay, so not bad, $90. Cool. Cool. Here's our next next haul. It's a little bit bigger than the previous one. Okay, so let's crack this open. Let's crack this open. I'll show you what this guy is. I like this better, bubbles, like this, so easier, all right, check this out, check this out, check this out, <laughs> ready, 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 another sealed box, and a box that's not sealed with the packs, so check this out, and I bought this one, I'll tell you what the price for this one was, I can't, <laughs> I can't, this one came out total, okay, it was, the guy had listed it for 100, okay. So he had listed a sealed box for $100, okay. And I talked to him and stuff, and I found out that the guy, I asked him if he had another set, he said he didn't. So I offered him 60, the same price I paid for that one, for the sealed set, but he said he had an open set as well. Right, that was only missing three packs. So I offered him a uh, hundred dollars for the sealed box, the sealed box, and the open box. Okay, and uh, not full. Twenty nine packs. It's got twenty nine packs in here. He says it's, it's only missing three uh, three packs. Right, and then it was twenty dollars shipping plus um, fifteen dollars in taxes, and the total came out to one hundred thirty five dollars for both of these. Right. So fantastic, very happy to have this, right? So here's, here's the sealed box again, right? Here's the sealed pack again. <laughs> you have lost your mind. <laughs> here's the sealed pack again, right? And it's the same thing, so perfect. So another sealed pack, right? This is comic book creators, man. I need to get a sealed pack of these, right? I need to get it. Bob Kane is number 37. Awesome, 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 right? And, as soon as he said he didn't have a, he, he had another one which wasn't sealed, right? Oh God, he's got like tape on this. Oh no, look at this. Oh, that's gonna tear off. He's got like, like packing tape on this. So we tear off. So not full box, 29 packs, 29 packs. So let's open these. I'm gonna crack this open. Oh my God, look at this. He's got packing tape all over this thing. Oh, this thing's trashed, the box. And why did I want this? Why did I, why did I, why did we need the unopened packs? Why? Well, because they're unopened packs, super cool, right? Super cool. But what can we do with these? Elder God, what can we do with these? Cheryl, how are you doing? Hi, Chicho, hi all. Sneaking in under the, under the wire is good. What can we do with these? What can we do with these? What can we do with these? Nice. Nice. Look at these. Look at these. Look at these. 29 packs. Awesome. 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 What can we do with these gang? Auction. Elder God, you got it, baby. <laughs> as soon as I saw this, the guy said, the guy said he has unopened. It has one that's un, uh, that's open. It's only missing three packs. I went, I want it. And I gave him $40. I offered him $40 for uh, these ones, right? So gang, in next year's auction, we will definitely be auctioning off sealed packs of 
comic book creators. As I mentioned, if I find something that I'm buying for myself and I can find a good deal where I can buy in bulk, should we open one? We'll open one right now. If I can buy them in bulk, I'll acquire them for you guys as well so we can have it uh, as auction. Okay, should we open one? 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 <laughs> I'm mocking. <laughs> oh, jeez, oh, sorry. I stepped on one of the bubbles. <laughs> I hope that didn't freak you guys out. <laughs> Can you tell I'm enjoying this? <laughs> Like a kid in a candy store. Like a kid in a candy store. Open, open, open one. My ears. Sorry, Elder God. I'm fine. <laughs> yes. Okay, gang. We're going to open one. Official. Let's take a look at the pack. Let's take a look at the pack. Official first series. 12 full color picture trading cards. Famous comic book creators. Photos, birthdays, stats, credits. Yes, yes. Is there Todd? Yeah, yeah. There's Todd McFarlane on them too. You can, you can see on the... This is Todd McFarlane. This is how Todd McFarlane. He's Canadian. This is Todd McFarlane right there. He's got his shirt off playing baseball. <laughs> He's hilarious. The guy, man. The guy. Uh, crack it open. Let's check it out. Let's read the. Let's read this as well. We got to read this as well. All right. Um, official famous comic book creators cards, three ring binder and collector sheets, and. Uh, yeah, I gotta get the binder. I don't have the binder. A custom imprinted vinyl three ring binder with 13 clear nine socket plastic sheets enough to hold the entire 110 cards sent send 9.95 plus two dollars shipping hand into Eclipse Comics PO box blah 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 What does this say? Let's open this Let's open this <clears throat> Wooden punk. Years ago, I bought a board game from 1960s that was in mint condition. I never expect to find it ever, so I have to have it. Pretty crazy. It looks like new even after. Oh, nice, nice. What does this say? For a catalog of more than 1,000 collectible comics, graphic novels, and trading cards for sale, send your name and address and two first class stamps to Eclipse Comics, famous comic book creators. And by the way, since you guys start talking about Todd McFarlane, Eclipse Comics went bankrupt and Todd McFarlane bought them out. So Todd McFarlane bought out Eclipse Comics in, I think, 1995 or 1996, right? So they went bankrupt during the whole comic book publishing crisis that happened in the 1990s. They went bankrupt and Todd McFarlane bought their warehouse, the inventory, and whatever rights they had. These were Eclipse Comics were creator-owned publications but i'm pretty sure they they probably had some uh rights to certain things right and this doesn't include the 1993 set right so let's crack this open let's crack this open. actually i'll crack it open old school way no let's cut it <laughs> let's cut it let's cut it let's see what we got Let's see what we got in this. Nice. Got to know Todd's work through my uncle that was a spawn, uh, a spawn fan. Nice, nice. What have we got? What do we got? Check it out. Let's see this. Mark. Check this out. Mark Avalmir, writer, artist, letterer, editor. Right. The Chan clan. Artist to Jack Kirby, influenced Kirby. Oh wow, when, when was his birthday? 1952. Born in 1950, Santa Monica, California. Very cool. Bill Finger, look at this. Bill Finger. Whoop. Bill Finger. Okay. Very cool, very cool. 
Very cool, very cool. Born 1914. Very cool. Writer. Dave Wenzel. Dave Wenzel. Whoop. Look at Dave Wenzel. These are nice and white. Preserved very well. Born 1950. Norm Br Breifogel. Norm Breifogel. Breifogel. Look at the haircut. Born 1960. Cool. Reed Waller. Reed Waller. Cool, cool, cool. Doop. Oh, look at that. 1949. Oh, is this uh, Omaha cat dancer? Mike Barron. Mike Barron. Kitty cats just woke up. Nexus, nice, nice. Born 1949. I think that's Nexus. <laughs> Jim Ingle. <laughs> I like this guy. Hilarious. Jim Ingle. William Finger, Batman guy, yeah? Nice. Who's this guy? That's a dark winged duck, I think. 1956? You have to look at these. Frank Springer? Frank Springer? William Finger got fucked by, but yeah. The comic book industry is, jeez. Namor. Look at that. Born 1929. Let me get a free Assange. Free Assange, Nick, let's do it. Don McDonald will do it after this. Don McDonald. Don McGregor. Cool. Hmm, who's that? I don't know who that picture is. 1949, 45 born. Mark Schultz. Mark Schultz. Gang, do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange, publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we desperately, desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available online. Milton Caniff. Milton Caniff. Look at all that original art he's got there. Look at that. What is he drawing? Can you tell? Hard to say, hard to say. What was he? Born 1907, look at that. And then it's got a checklist. Right, there's a checklist. So you said Bob Kane was which one? Uh, 47 was William Messier Lobes. Lobes. Neil Gaiman's 32. I wonder if the checklist comes with all of them. 37 was Bob Kane. Let's see. 37. 37. I wonder where. Yeah, there's Bob Kane, number 37. I wonder where Bill Finger is. Marv Wolfman, 33. Very cool. 
Yeah, James O'Barr. GB. I don't know. I don't think James O'Barr would be on this right now. Don't know his relation to the comics industry. James O'Barr uh, is well known. He became really famous with The Crow. And The Crow didn't come out until... Oh, when was the date of The Crow? We did the reading on it. Um, 1989, 1988 or something like this? Late 1980s. And this came out in 1992. So I don't know if uh, James O'Barr would be on here. And then I wonder if the checklist comes with all of them. Uh, because there's supposed to be, I believe, 10 or 12 cards in each. There's supposed to be 10 or 12. I don't know. I don't know. Let me, hold on. That should say it on here. Uh, I think I looked at this before. 12 cards per pack. It's supposed to be 12 cards per pack. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So... The checklist is not in every card, so we're lucky we got the checklist as well, right? That way we can look at it. 1989, yeah, yeah, 19. The movie 1994, yeah, Lark Park, thank you. So I don't think James O'Barr would be on this because he wasn't as important back then, right? He wasn't as important. And tell you the truth, he's not as important as... Uh, uh, he, he came up with a monumental character, right monumental character uh so did dave sim right uh with cerebus but dave sim has had a much more larger influence on the comic book industry than james obar and i don't know if dave sim is on here dave sim he should be on here dave sim was huge pack one 109 plus checklist nice one to 109 plus checklist cool so the checklist includes uh, one of the cars that you can get good night from Holland good night Flint bunker kind of the crow film was fantastic the crow kill film was fantastic and rest in peace um, Brandon Lee right rest in peace rest in peace pack two 111 to 146 I gotta get it pack two I don't have pack two I don't have pack two balloon ninja have you heard of young Ripa and his rapa verse comic book no i don't know young ripper and his ripperverse comics no no i don't blue uh blueberry ninja on rumble alan moore should be on here because alan, alan moore by uh this is 1992 by that time uh, he was swamp thing uh watchman um uh, Le uh, league of extraordinary or ordinary whatever gentleman thing uh, and Alan Moore had had a huge influence on the comic book industry by then. So Alan Moore should be on here. Banana Chicho, when is the next cooking stream? Good question. Uh, I'll see. I'll see. V, yeah, thank you very much, Cheryl. V for Vendetta, 2000, 2000 AD in the British publication. He had multiple stuff. He influenced the British wave of comics. Came, came onto the scene with... Uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, with Vertigo Comics in 1991, 1992. So there was a huge wave of British writers and artists that came on, and Alan Moore was in the forefront of that, right? So Alan Moore should be on here, but actually multiple eyes is better than just one eye. Do you guys see Alan Moore? Sam Keith is on there. If Sam Keith is on there, Alan Moore's got to be on there. I don't see Alan Moore. Do you guys see Alan Moore? What about Todd? Yeah, yeah, Todd McFarlane's on there. It's number 57 up here, right? He's on the cover as well, on the box, right? Mark Silvestri is on there. I don't see Alan Moore there. If you guys see it, let me know. Let's see if he's on there. Constantine, yeah, for Swamp Thing. Oh, wow. Where is Alan Moore? Maybe he's in the up the the other set from one eleven to one forty six. I don't see Alan Moore, gang. I don't even see Jack Kirby. Jack Kirby might be in the one eleven to one forty six, but maybe they did this because they needed approval, right? They had to get approval from the artist. Okay, never mind. I see McFarland. Yeah, Jim Shooter's on there. I don't see Alan Moore, and I don't see 
Uh, Jack Kirby. Yeah, Jack Kirby should be on here. I'm pretty sure he's on the first set. I don't see it. I don't see Jim Lee. Oh yeah, I don't see Jim Lee either. Neither, neither on the other pack. Huh? I I know Jack Kirby's on here, or Jack Kirby is is in one of the sets. Uh, and again, I'm guessing they have to have they have to have approval from the artist to put their pictures on there. So maybe they weren't able to get the approval because Alan Moore. Uh, was going through a phase where you know uh, there was issues there was issues there I'm gonna put this with the checklist on top into this so that way I know below this is the full set doop, doop, boop. I'll put the I'll put the car this in there too. save the packaging <laughs> there we go so gang awesome we got we got packs that we can open now we got 28 packs now we got 28 packs bar bar 107 x salutations welcome to our live stream welcome to our live stream uh, blueberry ninja he's a uh, content creator who started his own comic line with chuck dixon oh really they've made millions of dollars making non-political comics well, seriously uh, i gotta look into him young ripa I don't know I, it doesn't ring a bell at all do you know Turkey uh, yeah yeah I know Turkey my father speaks Turkish yeah yeah but gang let's call the stream let's call the stream thank you very much for being here gang I'll do a last count of how many people we got we got seven people left on rumble we got 37 left on twitch and we got 16 people left on sensor Two. gang thank you very much for being here oh thanks elder god uh, for being here. I hope you enjoy the stream. There's a lot going on. So uh, We'll visit this again. We'll visit this again. I remember in two days. We're doing reading of the Iran Contra uh, Trading cards um, We're gonna continue our reading. We're gonna read cards number 13 to 24 Okay uh, Round number two and we'll see where that goes regarding Turkey bar. We'll have to talk about that later We've talked a fair bit about it. Erdogan is a clown. Erdogan is a clown. So that's all I can say for now. And Turkey's in trouble if Erdogan remains in power. Ryan, thank you, Chicho, for the stream. Very informative. Informative. Take care, everyone. Take care, Lord of Iron. And GB, awesome stream as always. Thanks, Joe. My pleasure, gang. My pleasure. And gang, if you want to know what this work is about, we're on Patreon, Substack, Subscribe Star. We have a gilded server. We're live streaming on SensorTube, on Rumble, and on Twitch. So hopefully live streaming on Bitchute and Odyssey soon. Uh, we do have audios on uh, SoundCloud as podcasts. Uh, we're on Twitter, we're on Minds, we're on Gab, we're on VK, we're on Substack Knows, we're on True Social, and we're on Getter. And gang, salute, salute to the mods for being here. Salute to everyone for being here for the live stream. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your sunday and uh, we'll see you on tuesday if you can make it bye everyone